On the second floor of the Allied Health Building at ECU in the Department of Communication Science and Disorder, there is a lab that is designed to make you sick. The Gate and Balance Lab is getting its cutting edge science and is the only one in the country trying to figure out the connection between explosions, your ears, and brain damage. What they find could one day help you. The research starts in war. For instance, if Vietnam is the helicopter war and Desert Storm the technology war, then Iraq and Afghanistan have got to be the IED wars. There's a lot of us that come back with uh, just uh, brain damage, you know, um, hemorrhaging in the brain. Marine Sergeant Brian Saravoy's job in Iraq was to find IEDs, and he did, twice. Right about the time when it exploded, I was like, I think that might be a bomb. And it exploded. And like many vets, coming back from the war, he has problems with his hearing. Uh, it felt like the door on my truck was coming in at me. But mostly, he has problems with his balance. This is probably one of the biggest things where I find I'm going to fall over. It's a, it's a good thing there's a wall there to hold me up. <laughs> That's not easy to do because this spin chair in this special lab at ECU is designed to make him dizzy. You see, this is the first lab in the country to investigate a link between brain damage and damage to the inner ear caused by IED blasts. You know, three things work seamlessly together to keep us standing upright. The first, of course, is our vision. It tells us that the plane is level and we're doing all right. The second is our inner ear. It gives us the ability to close our eyes and do this and not fall down. The third, of course, is how we feel about our environment. Our feet touch the ground. What our environment's doing. Work together, everything's great. When something breaks, either your vision or your inner ear or your sense of touch, then your brain um, doesn't know how to make sense of the world. The secret is to get the amazing computer, the brain, to reboot. Suravoy endured dozens of tests to determine if his eyes, his ears, and his brain were interacting properly. What, uh, what would be an abnormal response in this case? So in this case, if the chair is rotating, if the eyes didn't move at all, for example, that would be an abnormal response. It would suggest that this reflex from the inner ear to the eyes is not moving. It's not working in an appropriate yeah. manner. Well, right now, I can't do very much of the normal job as a Marine anymore. If we can understand how the brain is processing those different sensory inputs, we might be able to better pinpoint um, where damage might be in the brain and then how therapy might be able to alleviate. When everything works, when you move, your world stays still. But if it's not all working together, then when you move, your world moves too. And that is debilitating. So your view of your world changes, perhaps, and then how you um, behave in the world it may change. People can become withdrawn. They don't want to move because that sensation of the world moving is unsettling. So they end up doing nothing. But what does this mean for you? Well, let's say you're in an accident with a head injury and you're dizzy. There's no quick field test to determine if it's a brain problem or an inner ear problem. Dr. Jones hopes the work they are now doing at the Balance and Gate Lab will give emergency room doctors and EMTs, as well as corpsmen on the battlefield, an effective tool to determine quickly what treatment you need.